Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I am going to be installing the EKWB 3090Ti water block onto the 3090Ti that I've had for a while and have been waiting to get this water block in to do the install. First things first, I'm going to show you guys what it came with. Got thermal pads, a couple different size thermal pads in here, and then a kit that comes with all the necessary parts you'll need. And then I'm going to be using Klein Tools, Multi Tool, really easy to swap out the heads here. And that's why I like to use this one. I'm sure there's many others like it. And then it also comes with this. So you can find the instruction manual on how to do this install online. Just go to EKWB's website, go to the 3090Ti water block page, and you'll find, if you scroll down a little bit, the instructions. So I'm going to try follow those instructions. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Perfect. So the first step here, just have to remove this magnetic V-shape that makes that X there. It's just there with the magnet, and then you've got some screws here that you have to remove as well. Next, you have to remove these tabs, reveal some more screws. So I'm just using an extra 3M mounting tape that I had laying around that I was going to use. It peels them off pretty good. You can see. It's that easy. Next, got to remove these three cables. Next, I'm going to remove these four Torx screws. I'm using a Torx six.
So I'll re remove this right here. It's a little larger Torx. I'm going to try a 9. See if that works. 9 it is. Okay, now I think I have to flip this up. Get these out. Those look like a 9 as well. So, I'm just going to unscrew this. Okay, that came off like a breeze. Okay, I should be able to remove the GPU from the cooler here. All cables are disconnected. Let's see. This part always sketches me out. Okay. Not too bad. There is the Naked 3090 Ti Founders Edition. Pretty clean. There's all the thermal pads that came stock. Thermal paste application that came stock. I think these are beautiful Founders Editions. Excited to see what the 40 series has here shortly. But if you want a close up, let me see. It's not bad. All right, next I'm gonna get this cleaned up, get this out of here, and prep for the water block installation. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna get the thermal pads on. They give you a ton, so don't be afraid to mess up. You have to cut them to fit, obviously. And they have to go on a lot of components. This whole thing's gonna be covered here shortly, for the most part. But the best graphic to use is on their own manual on EKWB's website for this install. They've got a colored picture that shows exactly which size goes where. So you can see two different width, two different width, and two different thickness pads that they give you. So it shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm just gonna fast forward through it. Next is putting the thermal paste on. I will be using the thermal paste that came with the mounting kit, a 3080, 3090. Next step, let me take this, set it somewhere safe. Next, I will be removing this back plate right here. Three screws, hex head. Thank you. 
Now remove these. Of course, it's a different head. Back to the Phillips head. It looks like three Phillips heads. So this part might be a little tricky. I'm going to flip the PCB upside down, look through the mounting hole, mounting holes, and guide it down onto the block. Hopefully none of these pads fall off. Wish me luck. did it right. Time will tell. Time will tell. next. I am going to vertically install this into my Corsair 7000D. That build video will be next. And I have a Port Royale run of the 3090Ti pre-water block on my test bench. We will compare it to a rough score once it's water cooled and see what differences we get temperature wise and score wise that's it thanks for watching hopefully this helps